Welcome, family and friends. On behalf of Carly and Adam, welcome and thank you for being here. They are delighted that you have come to share in their celebration of their love for each other. We know that many of you have traveled from great distances to be here. As you all know, we were originally supposed to be here in this beautiful place in September of 2020. Thanks to COVID-19, we didn't get to do that. But it looks like we waited just long enough for the weather to clear for us and have this beautiful afternoon. And I believe that everyone here is aware that Adam and Carly are in fact already legally married. What? Carly first became my heart and soul when we met in kindergarten. I've had the absolute honor of watching her grow and achieve anything in this life. She's probably the smartest person I know. Uh, let me just give you an example. So when we were young, Carly not only did her own schoolwork and thrived, she carried me through high school. <laughs> she did all of my work helping me study. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> you can thank her later for making me pass high school. the groom. Thank you for making room in your heart for us girls and for watching over Carly, making her laugh every single day. Laughter is the best medicine and let me tell you, you feed the world with that medicine. Your energy is so contagious and your stories are next level amazing. Oh, you look beautiful. This is a nice piece. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, you look lovely. <laughs> hey, right. my wife. Again. <laughs> this is how Mac was created. Yeah, exactly. Welcome back to Making Mac. <laughs> Two part episode. Being around someone who can make you feel a belly full of giggles and your cheeks hurt so much from laughing. This is how Carly and Adam make me feel. Baby Max, sweet dreams. I hope you're sleeping far away because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this crew celebrating Carly and Adam are getting drunk in love. Before we get started, it's important that we recognize that this celebration today is taking place on the shared, unceded territory of the Squamish Nation and Lil Watt Nation, and we ask that we all pause and take a moment to recognize this. have evolved significantly over the years. A generation or two ago, it was frowned upon to live together prior to marriage. Over time, it's become not only acceptable, but the social norm to test the waters before making a full commitment. And COVID has introduced an even more robust option to couples. To get <laughs> legally married, 
and then have the wedding two years later to see how we're doing. <laughs> and how is this working? Well, if we look at Adam and Carly with this very scientific sample size of one, I'd argue that the evidence is pretty strong, as evidenced by Mac here today, that things are going pretty darn well so far. The two of you have brought into this world this amazing little man named Mac. As you said the other night, Carly, you and Adam make a pretty awesome team when it comes to balancing your careers <laughs> with family. He's a pretty lucky guy to have the two of you as parents, and I look forward to seeing all the wonderful opportunities he will have due to his good fortune of having you two as his parents. Now, in the spirit of joy and affirmation, I want to ask your family and friends a question. Do you, the family and friends of Carly and Adam, give your full support, wishing them a full and joyful life together? There we go. Carly and Adam, we now come to your vows. I promise to continue to watch The Office and Entourage reruns on repeat with you and not watch Survivor or Kardashians without you and not tell any of our family and friends that you're watching The Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to spend the rest of my life beside your side and take on whatever challenges life has in store for us together. Watching you become a dad has been one of the biggest joys of my life and I couldn't imagine a better life partner, dad for Mac, Neil and Walter, and adventure buddy even in my wildest dreams. Vows, <laughs> version 2.0. You are my clumber co-parent, my escape room buddy, my extra set of hands when Walter gets muddy. I will continue to be the number one supporter of Carbon and Rocks and Head to London Drugs to pick up our Amazon box. I'm incredibly grateful that you entered my life and I couldn't be more excited for you to continue to be my wife. And now, it's my great personal privilege and joy to introduce Dr. and Dr. Little as husband and wife. Adam's grandmother, Shirley Morgan, who, who yesterday enjoyed, I would probably guess, one of the best days of her 85 years when she met her great-grandson, Mackenzie, for the first time. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 21st month anniversary party of Adam and Carly. As you know, we're here today because Adam and Carly were too stubborn to cancel this thing. Now, Adam has always been one of my favorite brothers. So when he asked me to be his best man, I said, didn't you already get married? I don't know about anyone else, but it feels like these two have been married for years. Turn down the lights tonight, the moon's all kind. We dance, we sing, we live, we love tonight. Let's run from the dawn before it knows we're gone. We dance, we sing. So around this time that we started learning about Carly, Adam was always a single man, never had a girlfriend in his life. <laughs> so news like this was shocking for the family. And on one of these trips over, I heard about this guy, Adam, who was not her boyfriend, but he did put his name in her phone as Sexy God Fancy Pants. <laughs> not wrong. It became obvious that Carly and Adam were two peas in a pod. <laughs> 
Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Both of them continually impress all of us with their incredible work ethics and success, as well as their determination to adventure and squeeze in as much fun as possible. That's what a lot of people have talked about over the last couple of days. Uh, the world is Adam and Carly's escape room, and we're just living in it. Congratulations, Carly. The best daughter one could ever wish for. Again, I love you so much. I'm so proud of the person that you've become. Adam is a great guy a loving and caring father. You have an amazing new baby. The time goes by so fast and you don't realize it now, but it's the best time of your life. Carly and Adam, we love you both with all our hearts and wish you many, many years of health, happiness, and more adventures together. One of the things that I've really began to appreciate as I've become a father is that in all the positive and negative and challenging and uplifting ways, being a dad just strips you to your core. It reveals the most authentic version of you and your partner because you have nowhere to hide. You have this thing that you love that's coming to your life and for goodness and in health and in sadness and in tough experiences, it is one of the most precious and original and authentic and just incredibly uh, special moments that you can share. So here's a story that summarizes why Carly and I are meant to be together. When I was in vet school, in my last year, there's this test that everybody takes. It's about five hours long. And basically, it decides whether or not you're a vet. You didn't pass. I failed the most important test that has ever been given to a veterinarian. And I was starting to date Carly at the very time that I received that. Over the next six months, Carly and I went to Starbucks every morning at 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. to study. She was there at the moment that I was the most raw, bare, and weak. And I really, really hope that in this really crazy world that we all find somebody who can embrace us at the time that we're like that. And that's why I am prouder than ever to call Carly my wife. Yeah.